perfect so now i'm going to download the vcf file now with the download you can use wget or you can use curl or you can use other um command line downloaders but i'll use wget or wget okay because i have that on my system if you are using mac os you can use curl also so i will say wget and i'll supply it's with the link to the file the vcf file which is here and then i'll download it okay so download has been done let's check the file so if i do an ls i'll find the file here okay so this is the vcf file that i'm going to use perfect now we are going to explore this vcf file okay so first of all let's look at the samples to get the samples i say vcf query dash l and then i'll supply it with a vcf file so this will list all the samples okay let me just repeat again i'll say vcf query dash l and then i supply it with a vcf file and then i'll execute it okay so i'll have all the samples display here so you can also count them if you want to count the same command you use a pipe and you say wc dash l this will give you the number of samples so we have 60 samples here so the 60 samples that we have 30 are from the gambia 30 are from bangladesh so let's look at it and this is where naming convention also comes in handy because if you have a good naming convention then you can use some linus commands to uh, kind of um, get um, these uh, populations okay into different files but we will look at them so first of all let's look at let's just look at the samples again um, i'll use this command this time i'll do this yeah so i want you to look at um, the sample names so i have pr and i also have pa okay so some of the um, names begin with pr some begin with pa so the pr ones are those from bangladesh and then the pa are those from the gambia okay so if we are going to compute the fst values then we need to have the sample names or the sample ids if you call it that way uh, we need to have them in different files so uh, the samples for isolates taken from the gambia will have to be in one file and then those taken from bangladesh will also have to be in a different file okay and uh, this should be text files so we are going to use some linux commands to get these sample names or sample ids into their respective um, files okay so i'll label them as pop1 and pop2 so that uh, they match uh, this vcf but you can use any name as well it, it doesn't matter but i just want to uh, make sure i streamline things okay so i'll start with pr first so i'll say vcf query dash l i'll supply my file name that's for the vcf file and then i'll use a pipe and i'll say grip and i'll say pr like this okay pr okay uh, so basically what i'm doing that's i'll have the lists displayed and then the grep command here will look for this part in pr so all the samples that have pr in them okay i will be displayed so let's do this let's just look at how this can be done so this is a simple command so let's um, run this perfect so you can see only the sample names beginning with pr have been displayed here so that's it but this were displayed we want to save to an output file so i'll also use this greater than symbol here and i'll say pop1.txt that's our population okay that's the first one okay so that's um it's um yeah so that's population one so if i do an ls i'll see pop1 
that is what i have here i've used the cut command to display it okay that's for pop one now let's do for pop two so for pop two that's population two will be vcf query dash l i still get my vcf file and then i'll say grep and this time i say p and now i'll just save it as pop2.txt okay so that's for pop2 i'll use the head command to display let's say the first um, few lines here okay so that's for p okay so now we have both um files ready let's check them again so let's do an ls here and then you see these two files so this is pop1 this is pop2 